heavy, uh, everything's heavy, uh, everything's heavy, yeah, shit's real heavy, everything's heavy, uh, everything's heavy, uh, everything's heavy, yeah, shit's real heavy, everything's heavy, everything's heavy, everything's heavy, yeah, shit's real heavy, everything's heavy, everything's heavy, everything's heavy, yeah, shit's real heavy. Yo, first episode of Vlogging with Trey. And what better way to start it off with buying a new whip? So, I'm about to head out to my boy, Skip House. Y'all see who Skip is. For those that know me, know who Skip is. But we about to go check out his old school that he's got for sale. Everybody that know me knows I've been one to old school. Either a Monty or a Caprice. And he's got a Caprice for sale. It's a 78 two-door aero coupe. Classic, in good condition. Used to be my boy Pease's car. If anybody that knows Pease... They know about the car that he had, what, five, six years ago. So, I'm about to buy it. So, we about to go check it out. If everything checks out on this deal, we about to take it. So, I'll see y'all when we get out of here. Tow truck here, man. I don't know why I just started talking about some bullshit, but not nah, got a tow truck here. Doesn't run just yet. He's been sitting for too long. Try to see it in the sun a little bit better. Gotta get that fixed. Gotta get that little crack right there fixed. Just had to use my truck to pull it from the backyard, but we got it up here. Now he's about to hook it up. We're gonna go ahead and get it home. Just wait till I get done with it, man. This thing's about to be crazy. If anybody knows where I can get a fender, get a whole fender. If you know where I can get one, let me know. I need that ASAP. ASAP. crazy wait till you see what's done to it man wait till you see what i got playing this thing's about to be crazy getting her all loaded up so yeah man it's my first old school one of my dream cars i done bought four of my dream all four cars that i didn't have all been my dream car so i feel like i'm on the right right path with this shit i wanted to truck and then got me a silverado wanted a charger did that at 19. wanted an old school i really want a money i'm gonna get a money after this but i wanted a caprice with the aero coupe ever since i saw my uncle with one so just wait until you see what we got planned with it man i can't wait we're going 26s there's 24s on here right now my boy p's did 24s I'm gonna up it and do 26s. I don't know if he got the frame notched yet or not. Hopefully, hopefully I don't need to. Nah, he probably didn't because he did a spacer. Which I don't want to run spacers and I want to run disc brakes. So I'll probably have to get the frame notched. But, we'll see. Gonna get this tent taken off too. But, I'm gonna let him get this loaded up. And I'll holler at y'all when we get back to the crib. She's home. Got Gotta get that quarter panel fixed ASAP. That's ugly. But. She's home. I'll show you what it looked like with her on the ground. About to show y'all the 90, or not, the 78 Caprice. It's 
thing is not in the best condition, but for what it is, it's pretty dope. So we'll start at the front. There she is. So the front fender is bent at the front. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's bent all the way in. And it's bent right here at the back too. So I have to get the inner fenders and get the whole entire fender too. And y'all see them 24s, they're pitting real bad from sitting out in the weather for like four years straight. But I wasn't tripping because we ain't, we ain't keeping the wheels on there. We doing sixes instead of 24s. So we tore the vinyl top off. See, I gotta get that right there fixed. That's a hole in the whole top of the hood. And y'all see the service rust starting. That's on the entire hood. So we gotta, gotta get the vinyl put on there. Good thing is now it's sitting in a garage. So it ain't gonna be no weather touching it for however long it takes to get this thing done. But just know, thing's gonna be dope. He had it on spacers, which I ain't doing spacers. We're gonna have the wheels that probably come out to right about there. Probably roll the inner fenders. I don't know yet. Get it. We're gonna get the frame notched. Get the rear disc brake conversion. I done found a couple setups out of some caprices and shit, but <clears throat> my bad, y'all. But yeah, we're gonna do the disc brake conversion. I'm not really a fan of drum brakes. They look ugly as shit. Plus, I wanna do the wheel wood setup on all four corners. But the door, I probably can't see it, but it's got like some ruffles in it. Damn. I didn't even know that was like that. God damn. We'll get that fixed. That exhaust is all rusted out. I don't even think that even sounds good anymore. Gotta get these trim pieces. See that? Oh wait, I probably don't even need new ones. Just need to get those put on right. I think both sides do it. But then I need a new keyhole. Need to figure out how to get the trunk open. I still have it opened the trunk and I bought it with 312s in it. Still don't even know if they work. Said that they do, but I don't know if they do. So y'all done seen this side. Here's the front. We're gonna get brand new headlights on both sides. Yeah, everything on this thing is just loose. I'm gonna take that off. Now we probably keep it on, I don't know. Cause I'm gonna get the, either the Forgiato or the Rucci. Uh, license plate because we doing four Giatos or Ruchis, one of the two. Yeah, I see. This side is actually pretty straight, all the way down. Don't mind all this shit on the side of the garage. But it's pretty straight. Now I'll show y'all the inside. The inside is not too bad. Y'all see the dash. I need to get a couple things on the dash fixed. The dash is actually cracked. I didn't even know that in two spots. So I need to buy a new dash. There is no battery in it, so the lights don't work. But the door panels, all this shit is gonna get redone. New speakers, see it's wired. Look at the bezel just sitting there. I can't even see anything. Let me see if my Cell phone. See the bezels just on the floor. Steering wheel is gonna get changed to whatever, whatever wheels I decide to go with. Hopefully a digital dash. Just depends on what wire harness I go with. See the glove box just sitting all open. There's nothing in there to cover it up. Gonna get all the seats and stuff redone. I didn't even know he did the back deck with speaker. That's dope. I never knew that. Gonna get new headliner. Everything in the interior is getting redone. Peanut butter. <laughs> but yeah, man. 
I already know what I'm doing with the car. I didn't sat for about a week, maybe. I've had this car for a while. Y'all just now seeing it, but I've had it for a while. But I've sat for about a week and pondered on what I want to do with the car. And I didn't finally figured it out. So we're doing the Tierra grill that lights up. We're doing a candy blue paint job. Uh, my boy Justin Tanner calls it bikini blue. It's just like this really dark candy blue. And we're doing rose gold, either Rucci's, Forgiato's, or Volano. One of those three. And um, in the interior, I'm gonna do gonna do peanut butter interior with matching blue stitching. And then LS swap. We're doing a 60. Same as this motor here, which is the one that's going in the Trans Am. If I I've actually I've been finding a lot of six twos for decent prices. So if I find one around the time when I'm ready to start putting money into this one, then we'll go with a six two cam, ported heads, you know, all that little stuff. Um but definitely LS swapping. 4L80 trans. Um I forgot to tell you how the real went the rims will be 26s. I'm leaning more towards Rucci because Rucci's got some dope rose gold wheels and uh, matching steering wheel. And I just, I don't know, I like Rucci's. Forgiatos are dope. It's a statement, but um, I just I just like Rucci's. Rucci's are dope. We're going to take the tin off all the way around. I don't know if I want to fishbowl it or if I want to go like a really, really light tint where like it's still tinted, but you can still see through it. I don't know. I'm still on the fence about it. Let me see where I have to open up this trunk. Hold on. It's the brake release. There's the hood. I said open the trunk. I meant the hood. So, let me show y'all the motor. So, the motor, it does work from my understanding. heavy so it's a 350 um, 350 transmission it's pretty dirty under here but supposedly it does run I don't know for sure but I got somebody coming over to uh, just put a starter on it and I got to put a battery in it Let's actually see what these battery connections are. It's for the beat right there. I don't know where the battery connections are. I don't know if it's a top post connection or what. I have no idea. But we will figure it out at some point. But just giving y'all a little update on it. Like I told you I would. Look at this thing just bent. Because of that hood hinge. I need a new hood hinge. So. Look, it's not even connected right there. It's probably why it's doing what it's doing. Probably just gonna leave it open, but it's a decent car. I like it. I'm happy with my purchase, and it'll be done soon. So stay tuned on the channel. Like, 
comment, share, subscribe, hit that post notification bell because got a lot, a lot, a lot of content coming. There's three different builds I'm in the process of um, accomplishing right now. You know, we got the Trans Am, we've got this right here, and we've got another one that I haven't even showed yet. Most of y'all know about the Trans Am just because of um, social media, but y'all see I just posted the, the Caprice, but I felt why not just make that the first purchase on the channel, but I've got another one that I've been having for a while. Most of y'all don't know about, but that's going to be a dope one too. It's going to bring a lot of good content. So just stay, stay tuned, stay up to date, hit that post notification bell so you don't miss anything. And I'll see y'all on the next one, man.